I'm going to hand the phone to Veronica, and Veronica can say whatever she wants, her message to the world. Hold on. You all live in a world that there's not very much trust in at the moment. The earth plane has become a chaotic whirlwind of distrust, lies, silliness. All of you are sort of in the mix of that, watching that, observing that, and wondering what just happened here. In a world that is not emanating a lot of trust at the moment, each of you individually needs to understand that then you need to go internal and learn to trust yourself. Learn to trust the thoughts that you have. Learn to move through the moment in a trusting way that, okay, no matter what's going on around me, I'm still centered within me. I have trust that I am doing good work. I have trust that those around me are receiving energy from me that is solid. All of it starts within you. Now, we know you're all looking around going, well, what just happened here? But what needs to be done is for all of you, instead of looking outside for all the answers, start to go inward. Start to think in your heart chakra and make your actions, your daily routine, a matter of personal trust within yourself. Trusting that you are making good decisions that you are living according to your dynamic and your soulful energy and trusting that you can bring in your positiveness into a world that kind of needs it. If every one of you did that, things would settle down. There's going to be difference of opinion. There's always going to be someone who says, oh, I think this way is better. And then there's going to be someone who's going to argue, are you out of your mind? That's not better. This is better. That's always going to be there. But at the moment, there's such a lack of trust with all the people who are having conversation that it's become a little ridiculous. So we'd say, if you are looking around and saying, what happened here? You can't go outward to fix it. All of you need to go internal and say, I'm going to start with my energy. And I'm going to live my life according to how I feel it should be done. I'm not going to throw stones at anyone else because everyone has entitled to their opinion and their process. But I'm going to trust that I am doing good things. I'm going to trust that my soul is making the right decisions for me. And I'm going to stand by them, by those decisions. There can be differences of opinion. But if they are done soulfully and respectfully, then progress can be made. And you can't fix it from the outside. You have to go internal, each and every one of you, to provide that level of trust, that level of integrity. And we think that your earth plane could be remedied by such a perspective. Thank you, Veronica. What happens when we die? Hold on for Veronica. It is not a homogenous standard kind of experience. It is based mostly upon your belief system. And it, the belief system takes a projection that you can walk into. So whatever religious moment you might be participating in, you're going to project that so that you will feel that in a comfort kind of way when you first get there. But what really happens is that when you leave the form, there is an expansive movement of energy. Now, some will say, oh, it's a bright light, there's a tunnel, there's all these things. That is the expansion of energy happening. And as you move into it, you are met by those who care deeply about you, not just from the life you just left. It might, could be some from another lifetime. and you get there and you're met by guides and you're met by people who or energies that care for you and there is a feeling of peace and calm now most are tremendously a surprise 
because some think, well, I'm just going to lose my awareness. I'm going to be in a pool of, you know, energy and just sort of come become all involved in that and, and lose my individuality. But the surprising thing for a lot of individuals is that you get there and you remember everything from the life you just had plus all of the other ones. So there's and if you were still in the linear, that would be overwhelming. But if you're not in the linear, it's not overwhelming. It's expansive, comforting, and a big wow moment. There could be energies that come towards you that perhaps you weren't close to in this particular life you just left. But when you see them, you remember completely and clearly where you knew them from and have great excitement at seeing them again. There is no pain. There is a feeling of etherealness and lightness. So if someone was, like, say, crossing out from something that was very hard physically, that they were in a lot of pain, they're not in any pain anymore. And if they wish to project their image, they can project it if they want to. So it's easy. It's comfortable. Now, some who are very entrenched in belief systems will project that belief system like maybe the pearly gates of heaven. And they may do that for a bit until their guides help them easily start to focus on what the truth is. And, but it's done with great respect, great care, great love, and no one feels poorly during the process. In fact, if you've been in great pain or you crossed over because of some great accident, there is no pain. There is nothing but calmness and peacefulness. There is no reason to fear death. There is not really a, quote, heaven or hell. We think that on an energetic level, there is this space of calmness where you meet with your guides, you contemplate what happened in the life and what didn't happen in the life and how you're going to proceed from there. And in the midst of all that, you are surrounded by unconditional love from energies that have known and loved you. Some from this life, some from not from this life. So there is no real definition. It's, it's an open canvas for anyone who crosses over. And most are surprised. Most feel a bit of like, wow, this is way more than I expected. And okay, I'm here. And it's all right. And then they realize they're able also to extend themselves to those who are sort of left behind in the linear, and they feel good about it. So it's not an end. It's actually a beginning and an expansive view of where you've been and what you've already done, not just from the life you just left. 